Yeah, book of John, chapter 14, uh, verse 1 through 6. Uh, let me read for you. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again. I receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And whither I go, you know, and the way you know. And Thomas says unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus says unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto me, Father, but by me. Yeah, in order to feel, fulfill his will, Jesus finally gave the word of promise to his disciples who believed in him and followed him before he died on the cross to remove, take away the sin of the world. Jesus told them, not to be troubled, but to believe in him. For there were many mansions in the house of the Father in heaven. And that Jesus was going to prepare a place for them. Jesus said that if he went and prepared a place for them, he would come back and put them where he is. But they did not understand what Jesus was saying until the Holy Spirit came in the name of Jesus Christ, they would have realized what was to come when the Holy Spirit came and led them to all the truth. The Holy Spirit who came on the day of Pentecost made the Apostle Paul and Apostle John understood the meaning of the Lord's word. When the Apostle Paul wrote to the church in Thessalonica and Corinth, he testified that what Jesus said would happen in the day of Christ. That is, in our day of rapture. The Apostle Paul prophesied in details how the Lord's words would be fulfilled on the day of rapture. That is the day of Christ. Apostle Paul testified that if we believe that Jesus died and rose again for our sin, then God will bring with them those who have fallen asleep in Jesus. That means for the last 2,000 years. He said, For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, even them, even so them also, which sleep in Jesus, will God bring with them. The Christians who have believed in the gospel of Christ, grace, since the coming of the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost, and born again by the Holy Ghost, will appear in the air on the day of rapture and raise their bodies to immortal and incorruptible bodies even though their bodies are dead and buried, but their spirits and souls have already ascended to heaven. He testified on the day, on that day, when he himself descended from heaven with a shout and a voice of archangel, and with the sound of trumpet of God, those who have been saved for the past 2,000 years and died in Christ would be resurrected first. Imagine how many Christians for the last 2,000 years, we don't know how many people. And he des testified that on the that day, what happened, he said to the church of Thessalonians, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ 
shall rise first. He said that. Many Old Testament saints who were saved in the age of law were resurrected and raptured to heaven already when Jesus was resurrected. Apostle Matthew testified in Matthew 27, verse 50 to 53. Jesus, when he cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent and twain from the top to the bottom. And the earth did quake, and the rocks rent, and the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints, that is Old, Old Testament saints, saints which slept arose. And he came out of the graves after his resurrection and went into the holy city, that is Jerusalem, and appeared unto many, many people. Yeah, it would be an unimaginable sight seeing uh, for countless New Testament saints who have been saved and asleep in Christ for the past 2,000 years. And if their bodies were to rise from their graves on the day of the rapture, at this time, the bodies of the New Testament saints who were dead had already returned to dust without form in the eyes of man. But Apostle Paul testified that the mighty God, Almighty God, would resurrect them and change them into mortal and incorruptible bodies. Can you believe it? Yeah, because God is absolute, almighty God. And they would be raptured to heaven with us, with you, if you are saved. First Thessalonians chapter 4, 17. Then we which are alive and remain shall be cut up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. He also testified to Christian in Corinthian church, Behold, I show you a mystery, we shall not all sleep. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last the trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. But this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. The Apostle Paul testified of those who will ascend to heaven on the day of Christ, that is the day of rapture, and live forever with the Lord, that they believe the gospel of Christ and are in the image of unify, unity with Christ Jesus. Yeah, he just testified about this in the book of Romans chapter 8. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his spirit and dwelleth in you. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. What that means? A born again Christian, God made to make them the exact same image of Jesus Christ, to make Jesus only firstborn son to make many brethren for him. Now God gave the Apostle John a detailed demonstration of the city of the Father's house where many mansions 
and testified of what he saw in a vision. And they came unto me, one of the seven angels, which had the seven fires, full of the seven last plagues, and talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will shew thee the bride, the lamb of wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to great and high mountain, and shewed me the great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God having the glory of God. And the light was like unto stone, most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal, and had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and names written thereon, which are the names of twelve tribes of the children of Israel. He continued to describe what, how it looked like. On the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, on the west three gates, in the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and in them the names of twelve apostles of the Lamb. And he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city, and the gates thereof, and the wall thereof. And the city lies four square, and the length is as large as breadth. And he measured the city with a reed, twelve thousand for long. One for long is as much as one eighth mile. And he measured the wall thereof. 140 and 4 cubit according to the measure of man, and that is, the, that is of the angel, and the building of the wall of it was of jasper, and the city was pure gold, like unto clear glass, glass. and the foundation of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second Sapphire, the third, Chalidoni, the fourth, Emerald, the fifth, Southernix, the sixth, Sadius, the seventh, Chrysolt, the eighth, Burial, the ninth, Topes, the tenth, Charisoporus, eleventh, Jason, the twelfth, one, Amethyst, and the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Every several gates were of one pearl. And the street of the city was pure gold, as it were, transparent glass. Imagine. Fifteen thousand, uh, fifteen hundred miles each side, including the height. Huge city. There must be mention, many mentions for us, not only for us, but also New Testament saints died for the last 2,000 years. They will rise. They will rise first. How much a wonderful sin it shall be. I don't know the number of saints, you know, died, have died in for less two thousand years, but they shall, they shall rise, resurrect, and those just like us alive, to change it right away in eye twinkling light, to immortal and incorruptible body. We shall ascend to the air, through the clouds, to see the Lord Jesus. Yeah, that's why Jesus, you know, made a promise to his disciples so that they, might, they may not worry about, you know. In the book of John chapter 14 is related the rapture of New Testament saints. Do you agree with me? Yeah, 
it, it, it is so. And so, this is the way we all praise the Lord, waiting for Him. Yeah, the rapture is coming pretty soon. We must be able to think just like that, because the, the words of God has given us you know, a timetable for the rapture for us. I bless all of you to wait for, for the Lord Jesus until he come, to be ready for you to meet the Lord, try to be pure as much as him, to be his, his bride. I bless all of you in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs>